Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the temperature and humidity sensor known as KY015. This is a module itself, so let's get started. This module has integrated on board a temperature and humidity sensor called DHT11 and of course a resistor. The resistor used in this module is 10 kilo ohm and the main reason for using the resistor is to limit current circulating inside the module. In other words, to prevent the current from burning our module. Now I will show how these components are connected together. There we have the sensor itself, and of course, the resistor R1. On the right you can see how the pins of the module are connected on this board. We have in red the flow of the voltage, we have in black the flow of the ground, and of course we have in green the flow of the signal. This module can measure the temperature from 0 grade Celsius to 50 grade Celsius with an error scale of plus minus 2 grade Celsius and a humidity from 20% to 90% with an error scale of plus minus 5%. It can be connected to any kind of microcontroller boards but the wire must not exceed a maximum length of 20 meters. This sensor is a single wire serial interface that allows fast and easy system integration. Small size, low power consumption, signal transmission distances up to 20 meter make it good choice anywhere even in the tough applications. The sensor DHT11 consists of a resistance measurement component and a NTC temperature measurement component. THT11 uses an internal thermistor and a humidity sensor to determine ambient conditions. An internal chip is responsible for converting readings into a digital signal. This sensor can monitor temperature and humidity by giving a very calibrated digital signal for these values. So let's talk about the pins. The pins in this module are three. We have the ground pin with the minus sign, the voltage pin is in the middle and of course we have the pin of the signal with an S sign. So let's talk about the signal. This module gives a digital signal so we can connect the pins of the signal with any digital ports of different microcontroller boards like Arduino or Raspberry Pi. That's it guys for today. If you like the video hit that like button. If you want more videos like this one hit the subscribe button with a bell icon so you'll be notified for every video. We upload new videos every day so the only chance to see them first is of course through subscription. Don't forget to check our social media and see you guys next time.